Hey Gemini, so I'm gonna do a reading. We're gonna see what your messages are at this time, okay? Just keep in mind while you're listening to the reading that this is general. Don't force it to fit your situation, okay? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking great care of yourself, Gemini. We're gonna go ahead and get started and see what you guys have going on at this time, okay? So we have cat here. So there's some catty energy that's coming up. It says a two-faced friend. Okay, so there could be a fake friend um, amongst you at this time. One way, they act one way um, in front of you, but behind your back, like they're a completely different person. Okay, this person definitely doesn't have your back. Can you tell me more about this? Can we collect it? Thank you, Spirit. We have table here. It says hard work ahead. Okay. This could be like in the work environment. This could be a coworker, somebody that you take lunch with, talk to frequently. So I feel like this person may know, um, they know a little bit of your story. All right. Okay. We have fan, it says romance, celebration, and then it, uh, it says party here, okay? So, let me pull out another one and then I'm gonna see what else, thank you. We have broken wish, bro broken wish bone, wish will not be granted. Okay, so this person could be talking about your relationship, okay? Or something that you're celebrating, something special that's coming into your life, or something that you currently have that's a good vibe, it's like something to be excited about. This person is talking about it behind the scenes, behind your back. They're just throwing shade, okay? Um, at the bottom of this deck, I see wishbone, okay? So this one, it says a wish is granted, all right? So we have both of the wishbone cards that came out of this deck. All right, so somebody didn't get their way and somebody did, okay? So basically the other person is in their feelings because things didn't go according to plan, all right? I see camel here. It says persevere, persevere and you will overcome problems. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. I want to see more about this situation, okay? All right, spirit. What else can you share with the collective about this two-faced friend? All right, Collective, let's go ahead and see more about this two-faced friend. Spirit, tell me more about this person. What else do you need the Collective to see about this two-faced friend? What else do you need the Collective to see about this two-faced friend at this time? What else do you need the Collective to see, Spirit? Okay, so the hangman, all right? This person is kind of stuck. They're in this energy of um, waiting, trying to figure out possibly what what you may be saying to them or what you're going to say to them or what you're going to do this person is in this position of just not really moving or not really able to move okay they may be trying to understand um okay so you may have Push this person out of your life or block them or like you're catching on. So you know who I'm talking about, all right? Um, this could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Um, this could be a Leo, an Aries, a Sagittarius. Um, but you're very defensive uh, against this person at this time, all right? Yeah, because you're awake. You can see you're, you're very... Uh, you're clear about who this person is, what their intentions are, all right? Um, okay, so tell me, you may have blocked this person without explaining yourself. Okay, tell me more about this hangman. Thank you, spirit. And then we have the page of swords. Okay, so this person is just watching you, all right? They're in the background just watching if you're posting online or if you're doing anything um, in the public, they're just watching, all right? They're watching and they're very curious, trying to figure out, like, what you have going on. This would also be a situation where you, you know, cut somebody out of, out of your life and it's like they, they need to keep up with what your day-to-day -day life is or what you're doing in your life. This person is very concerned about your life, okay? They're no longer a part of your life. That's what I'm picking up on. Um, so they want it, they want access and they don't have it. I'm seeing like access has been denied. You sat this person down or you, you know, you left them alone for a good reason. And they're just trying to like be nosy. That's what I'm seeing here, trying to figure out what you got going on. 
Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this person really hurt you. I feel like this person betrayed you. I feel like they showed you a side of themselves that was dis was disgusting is what I'm hearing. Disgusting, all right? Very disgusting. This person is just very selfish, very fake individual, all right? They're nothing like they portray themselves to be at all. And you can see that very clearly. This person could be an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. All right, um, I see the Page of Wands here, Knight of Pentacles. They may want to like message you, or they may think about um, like reaching out to you. I'm not sure like how that how that would you know actually go, but that's a thought that they have. Okay. All right, let's see about this table card, Spirit. Tell me more about hard work ahead. So we have hard work ahead. Tell me about that. Hard work ahead. Why is that here? Okay, so this person, they have been trying. They've been trying to get access to your life or they've been trying to figure out what you have going on in your life. And it's been very difficult. It's a lot of work that they have to put in to just... So you have them blocked on every level, okay? If you were friends online, they're blocked from all of your accounts. And I just feel like you have this person blocked. Tell me more about hard work ahead. Thank you, Spirit. We have the world, and then we have the emperor here. So you have taken charge of the situation, okay? I feel like they showed you enough of their character. They showed you that, you know, um, you and this person are not on the same accord. You're not on the same page. You're not the same type of individual. This is somebody that you don't want in your circle. You don't want this person to have access to your life. Nothing that they do or say is irrelevant or beneficial to what you have going on in your life so you have completely removed this person from your life on all levels okay they have your phone number you may have changed your number you took some type of um uh yeah authoritative i don't know if that's a word like you took uh, you took action like you handled the situation you took control that's what Spirit is saying. You decided to take control of this situation um, and end it, all right? End whatever contact that you guys have had, whatever position that this person had in your life, okay? They don't have that position anymore. This could be um, a parent. This could be a father or a father figure. This could be somebody that you were married to for a long period of time. This could be family. This is somebody who... Um, they meant something to you in the past, but they don't anymore. That's what I'm seeing. They had a, you know, they had a place in your heart, but I'm not seeing it there anymore. Yeah, I see the five of wands here. There's too much drama with this person. This person causes too many issues. There's always something with them. It's always an issue. It's always a fight. Yeah, I see the nine of wands. I feel like, you know, even if this is like a friend... This is the type of person who always, like, you always have to be on guard with this one. It's like, they may say things to you, and you always have to be prepared to, um, like, I'm just seeing somebody, like, every time you go out or every time you guys link up, like, you always know, okay, so I know they get, you know, a little reckless at the mouth, so I'm going to have to do X, Y, and Z, or I know they, you know, they like to always talk about this, so I have to, you know, it's always like you have to be on guard and you have to prepare yourself when you interact with this person, and that gets old, like, that gets tiring, nobody has time to be, you know, on edge, walking on eggshells egg every time, you know, you interact with this person, that's just a message that you just didn't need to be around them, and I feel like you really see it now, it's very clear, like, this is somebody who does nothing for you. They don't benefit you. So you're taking control, all right? No matter how difficult it may have been for you, it could have been like um, a situation where it wasn't easy to make this decision, but you did it. That's what Spirit is saying. It was hard work. It was difficult, but you have learned a lot through this situation, through this encounter with this person. So I feel like this person here, they're kind of like... Um, yeah, like, I'm here, like, stuck on glue. I don't, I don't know exactly what that is, but it's like this person is just stuck, okay? They're in this position now where they're starting to see, like, okay, maybe I didn't handle things the best way. 
because you're the energy that you're displaying you're showing that you're very serious you mean what you say your actions are way louder than your words right now so whatever you're showing this person it's it's no more no more talking you know like we're not talking about anything i'm not explaining myself it's gonna be like this because i said so it's really strict very firm and you're not talking about it it's just it is that's just what it is anything else with that hard work spirit because i feel like you're fed up like, there is no more room for you to deal with whoever this is. You have no more space, no more um, patience, no more sympathy, no more nothing. So whoever this person is, they really pissed you off. You're like, you're up to here. Like, you had it up to here. Like, it's no more. Spirit, tell me more about, thank you. Okay, so the death card. Death card came out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could be a Scorpio, but this is a change that was, you know, this was needed. This was a transform, a transformative moment for you, okay? For sure. I feel like um, when you decided to release this person and everything that they came with, you really bossed up. That's what I'm seeing. Like, you elevated to a new level in your life. Spirit is proud of you, okay, for handling the situation the way that you did. All right, because it was not easy. I don't know exactly, you know, what the details are between you and this individual but spirit is telling me that it wasn't an easy move that you had to make but you did it because it was necessary you know sometimes you have to do things that are not easy but they are necessary and spirit is saying good job for that all right yeah it's not easy letting go that's what i'm seeing for whatever reason but you did it because you you knew it had to be done all right spirit what else um what else can you share with the collective about, so, okay, there's a lot coming out. What else do you need the collective to know about this uh, situation? It's over, I'm seeing that here. Justice, any type of um, karma, karma, justice, anything that was um, left in an unbalanced state because you made certain moves in the situation are going to be balanced again. So you don't have to worry about when this person is going to receive their karma or, you know, when you're going to um, get what's owed to you. Just keep, you know, doing what you know you're supposed to do. That's what Spirit is saying. You don't have to, don't dwell on the situation. Don't dwell on it anymore. You, you handled it exactly how you were supposed to. Keep moving forward. All right? Justice in that situation will be... Um, it will be handled. This person is going to be held accountable for their actions one way or another. That's what Spirit is saying. All right? One way or another. So you don't have to worry about when or how or if it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's a definite thing. All right? Just keep doing you. Like you, Whatever you had to do in the situation, you did it. So your hands are clean. You don't have to do anything else. That's what Spirit is saying. You've already did it. Okay? Spirit, tell me about romance celebration party so some of you on a lighter note you may be in a new relationship i feel like this is new it doesn't have to be like a new relationship but it does feel lighter it feels um you know it feels like the beginning stages let's see okay <laughs> and then i see the ten of swords and the seven of wands okay <laughs> all right so ten of swords seven of wands mm. Okay. All right. So this is a message for somebody who may have been in a romantic relationship with this person from the past that you had to like ex out of your life. All right. This person may have done a lot to you. I'm seeing that here with the Ten of Swords. They may have hurt you. Um, I'm seeing mostly mentally but it doesn't have to be mentally it could be emotionally physically spiritually i feel like this person just really hurt you they, they put you through a lot um it was very exhausting dealing with this person and they have changed your view on love and romance all right so you may notice that when people are trying to flirt with you or you know just show you that you're cute or you're handsome you may be a little bit guarded towards that which is understandable okay keep your guards up let people in your life that you feel uh drawn to okay like if keep using discernment all right spirit tell me more about fan will of fortune and the five of swords okay 
All right, so for some of you, if you are ready for love, or if you are single and you're ready to mingle, okay, Spirit is saying, like, you handled a past situation, a past relationship, um, the best way that you were supposed to, or you handled that situation, um, and you've learned from that situation, you have succeeded in that past situation, okay? So basically, you know what you want moving forward. You know that you would never take anybody back that's like this person that I'm talking about, this fake friend, this fake lover. You would never take that person back or anyone like that back into your life. So that's a clear understanding because you've been there and you don't want to go back, right? So when you start to meet new people, if you are interested in connecting to new people, you're in a new cycle. New energy is coming into your life because you're making new decisions. You're in a new space. You've learned and you're moving forward in a new way. Okay, so you have new things, new energy coming into your life. Just try not to drag in the past old energy, old mindsets. Try not to bring that into the new cycle. Because that would be self-sabotaging, okay? Not everybody is going to mistreat you, okay? And especially if you made this decision in your past from a place of, like, I deserve better, you know? And I know I deserve better and I'm not going to settle. Then that's what's coming to you. So just keep that in mind. Like, if you're connecting to new people or, you know, like, if you're interested in dating, just keep that in mind, like you're going to be able to weed through the fake, okay? You're going to be able to see that very clearly. I just want to see a little bit about this broken wishbone, okay? Uh, because we have a wishes granted here at the top of the deck, and then broken wishbone came out, okay? Tell me about that. So this is that X. I feel like they may have they may have really tried to break you down like mentally they really tried to make you feel like you would never amount to anything and you're a whole emperor or empress like you're you're this is like the cream of the crop okay like this is this is the type of person that you would want to build a life with if you want a you know a long-term partner this is the person that you would want to be with long term this person tried to make you feel like you were insignificant. You know what? You did not matter when it's the complete opposite. Without the emperor, like, certain moves cannot be made, you know? So this person was just basically trying to make you feel, you know, just like you weren't important, you know, just because that's how they felt. But that wish that they had for you was not granted, okay? Spirit, tell me more about wish not being granted. Tell me more about that. I feel like spirit wants you to continue to be confident in yourself moving forward and like be confident in who you are, be confident, you know, in the decisions that you make, okay? So judgment came out with the three of cups here. <laughs> For some of you, like this person, <laughs> see? When you try to be spiteful and you try to be, like, when you go out of your way to bring another person down, it always backfires. Like, that's just how, that's just, you know, the laws of the land. Like, when you, I feel like this person tried to compare you to other people. You know, this person tried to make you um, an option or they tried to put you in rotation. They tried to make you feel like, okay, like, you are replaceable. Who, how can you replace the emperor? If you're trying to date and you're trying to, you know, build something long term, who is who is higher than the emperor? As a, a husband or a wife or, a, you know, somebody that you, you want to have a partnership, who is higher than that? And I feel like this person tried to compare you to people. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm hearing like you can't compete where you can't compare or something like that. Don't compete where you can't compare. I don't know. This person tried to, like, maybe make you compete with people that don't compare to you. Yeah, like, and they realized, like, that was dumb. Why did I do that? Anything else with that spirit? This person, I'm hearing a cornball. <laughs> this 
person is a whole clown. So don't feel bad about yourself. Like this person, don't even. You have way too much uh, skill, class. Like you look way too good on the inside and the out to be allowing this person to make you feel like you have to compare yourself to these other men or these other women. All right, like you are good on your own. You really don't need anybody, okay? You don't, but you know, it would be nice to build with somebody else, but you have a whole empire yourself. You have a lot going for yourself. And that's the problem with this person. They've seen all of that. They've seen everything that you have going and they try to diminish that. They try to make you feel like um, you were worthless. So everything that they try to make you feel, they now feel that. Stuck on stupid is what I'm hearing with this um, <laughs> with this hangman. Stuck on stupid. Alright? This person is stuck. They're probably watching you getting, you know, a lot of attention right now. Okay? Especially if you're online. They probably see you um, and they see how other people are interested in you. If you have any type of online business or... Anything that you're displaying on the internet, this person is, you know, one of the first in line to watch, okay? They're trying to see, like, did all of my hurtful words, did all of my hurtful actions and the things I said to this person, did that really stick? Do they really believe what I told them? No, you don't. Not at all. Anything else with that spirit? Anything else you need to collect it to know? Yeah, the magician came out reverse. This person definitely tried to play you. <laughs> they tried it. They, they really tried it. Manipulation is in this card. Um, the greed, for sure. They probably tried to juggle you with more than one person. Okay? Um, this person just really wanted to see how far they can go. You know, how much they could, you know, how far they could get into your head. And I feel like, you know, they did enough. They said enough. They showed you enough. Enough is enough. You're done. Okay? So, Spirit wants you to continue to stay in your power. Alright? Moving forward, don't ever let anyone else make you feel like this ex did, this ex-friend, this ex-co-worker, whoever this person is that I'm talking about. Don't ever, don't ever let this happen again. And I, see, <laughs> and I see that you're not. I see that you're not. You will never let that, you know, situation play out uh, over on you again. You've learned a lot. Okay? Alright, you guys, I hope that this was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later, okay? Bye.